In the previous video, we reviewed both the insurance request and insurance response XML data elements that are encapsulated in a SOAP envelope and carried over HTTP as part of our business problem. In this video tutorial, we will use IntelliJ to manually generate a whistle document for our SOAP service. We will start by generating the XST documents for the insurance request and insurance response XML elements. Then we will combine these XST documents into a single XST document, which will be the basis of the whistle document that we will manually create in IntelliJ. Let's move over into IntelliJ. Okay, now that we've reviewed our incoming insurance request and outgoing insurance response XML, we have them open here inside IntelliJ. We've got insurance request and insurance response. So now we are ready to move these over into XSD format. It's quite easy in IntelliJ. So right click, generate XSD schema from XML file. We keep all the defaults, select OK. Now we have our insurance request.xsd document. We'll do some alignment so we can see everything. Now the insurance request is going to be our incoming SOAP XML element. And we can see here that this is an empty tag, so we'll fix that. And it's expecting an insurance request type, which was generated for us. So we'll just cut and paste it out down here. And we do not need these attribute elements anymore. Don't need this one either. Now as a little extra demonstration, let's say we want to validate the incoming SSN. And we can do that by changing our XSD document here. So in other words, we have the string element of SSN coming in. We can go up top here and define a custom SSN type. We still use a base of string. And inside of our restriction element, we define our pattern match for SSN. So we've defined a restriction, it says three digits of a range 0 to 9, followed by a dash, followed by two digits of a range 0 to 9, followed by four digits of a range 0 to 9. And we're just going to write a little comment for ourselves here, say this is our incoming SOAP XML element. And that is our defined insurance request dot XSD. Well, oops, uh, you notice we missed something. We defined the SSN type, but we did not replace it. We are still using a string of type SSN. So let's replace it. And now we good to go. In the next video, we will repeat the same process for insurance response.xml.